<laughs> Something I wrote, I was watching this actually, and you can go see the whole video mm-hmm. at our website at keenradio.com. You told a little bit of the story on uh, Texas music scene on yeah. the TV show over the weekend. Heck, hey, yeah. Congratulations on being a TV star. Now you get to stoop down to the radio level. That's but, uh, right. No, man, I, I, uh, I've had a real good time going around this, uh, this go round. I've had a lot of cool DJs out there. And then me. Too, yeah. And then Dave That's Wheaton, right. you know. <laughs> The one and only. <laughs> Tell us about this single, though. Heck Something yeah. I wrote, uh, co-produced by uh, Wade Bowen and uh, uh, Ross Smith. Ross, Ross Smith. Smith. That's his uh, key keys yeah. player, right? Yeah. He's actually not with him no more. Oh. But but yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I hope it wasn't your fault. No, no, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us about writing it, though. Yeah. Well, um, when I started this song. I had been writing for like three days straight up in Nashville, and my first time to go up there and write with, with these guys, and they're like machines, you know, they just they write all day, every day. Yeah. Well, I went in there with Mondo, and I didn't have anything left, you know, and, mm-hmm. and uh, so we just started, you know, shooting the bull and talking about you know, my trip up there and all that, and uh, that's what the song's about. I was like, man, I spent my last dime getting up here, you know, and my, and my wife now, she left a letter in my console, and it was a little sweet letter, and... Anyway, so man, that's what that's what we need to write the song about. So mm-hmm. that's what we did. And there's a little bar up there in Nashville called Losers, and uh, <laughs> that's where <laughs> that's where all the guys like me hang out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so anyway, you know, that's, that's the whole song's about my trip to Nashville and uh, hanging out in that little bar. All right, that yeah. sounds like a place that would welcome me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh, you'd fit in. <laughs> oh yeah, fit in perfectly at Losers. That's right. Well, we'll yeah. go together sometime. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, those of you who don't know, Cody and I have known each other for a l- Long quite time. some time. Uh, I remember back in the day. I guess it maybe was oh seven or oh eight or something Somewhere like that. In there. I you, think it's been about eight years. You were not old enough to drive. No, I yet. wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but you uh, apparently. Man, you had this desire to be a Texas country singer. Yes, sir. And your dad actually used to bother me. <laughs> While you were sitting in school, he'd be calling me up at the radio station in East Texas and saying, hey, you know what? You got to hear my son. You got to listen to his song. You got to get it on the radio and all this stuff. And I'm like, come on, man. Come on. And he was persistent, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Well, finally, he got you down there. Yeah. Actually, you, without a driver's license, somehow drove the hour and a half or whatever it was to, to the radio cool. station. He's like, we did what I needed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. But uh, anyway, you finally came by and we met. Yeah. And, and man, impressive, I think, well, is you. was the first word that came to mind when we thank got to you. talking a little bit. You had a little bit better understanding than most 15-year-old kids do about uh, music and stuff like yes, that. Sir. And now here I am. I've got a son who's 14 years old, and I can't imagine a year from now him doing what you did, what you did then. So I know that was that was strange. Yeah, yeah. And now Cody, by the way, is about a foot and a half taller. That's right. Married. Married. Just no. got married last month. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's been about five weeks. <laughs> Man, congratulations well, to you, brother. You very much. And uh, and now you're working with guys like Wade Bowen. Heck yeah. How did you go from being that kid who was playing hooky from school to come out and hang out with me to to working with Wade Bowen on your new album? I mean, he produces the whole thing pretty much. Yeah, right? definitely. He did the the whole the whole five songs we're doing. We're we're gonna go back and uh, do a lot more writing, and he's gonna do the rest of it with us too. But uh, hmm. I met Wade when I was about about fourteen, around that same time, mm-hmm. and uh, I opened up for him in Paris, Texas, at this little bar called Crosswire. And uh, when they were sound checking, they were going over a bunch of songs, you know. And shoot, we were just enjoying listening, you know, listening to them practice basically. Mm-hmm. Well, he came off stage and uh, and he apologized to me for taking so long. And I said, "Man, you don't even know this is this has uh, been a great experience just getting to hang out and watch y'all guys practice, you know." And, and uh, but he was just too cool to me. And uh, all his band and his road manager Ricky. They were all real, real nice to me and mm-hmm. uh, the, my band, and uh, that's just kind of where it started. And now my manager Todd Purefoy is, you know, good friends with uh, Wade and their family, and and uh, we got to play a bunch of shows with them throughout the last three or four years, and uh, you know, we just kind of built a relationship. And I built up the courage to just ask him if he'd produce my record, and yeah. uh, <laughs> surprisingly, he said yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's he's broken from the Nashville, uh, I guess Sony Music, which right. is what he was from. Yeah. Sony Thank Nashville. goodness, I'm I'm really happy for him on that. Uh, but yeah, that was but tough. He's kind of got the freedom to do whatever the heck he wants. Whenever so I guess you kind of asked him at the right time, didn't I did, you? I did really, and and you know, maybe maybe it was, you know, 
maybe it was the right time and uh, I'm just real fortunate that uh, he did take the time to come out and do it and I know he's a he's a busy man dude yeah. plays you know, a crazy amount of shows a year and, yeah. and uh, he was just here a couple of weeks ago really too. yeah Heck yeah, yeah man and uh <laughs> Yeah, he's he's just a genuinely good dude. He really is. There is no mistaking that that's you know I can tell you stories too. I mean, I, I think everybody who's ever met him or knows him or has been to one of his shows and enjoy and watched right. uh, can probably tell you a story about what a great guy he is. Oh yeah, definitely. So there, definitely. Uh, and now he's helping out another great guy. Oh, well, thank you, Dave. That's beautiful.